This is Tony, age seven and a half. This is Vanessa, age seven. This is Shayna Lee, age five and a half. This is Charles, age seven. These children and others like them will try to make you understand what they're talking about on Child's Play. Here is the host of Child's Play, Bill Cullen. Thank you very much, and welcome to Child's Play. It's a game for grown-ups. Now, we're going to meet the children on Child's Play in just a moment, but first, let us meet the grown-ups. By golly, we are welcoming back for the first time on this program our current and reigning champion, $1,000 richer than she was Yay. this time yesterday. Ladies and gentlemen, Dawn Miller. Hi, Dawn. Yeah. You did it. It's great. You like it? Oh, yeah. You like the way the game works? I'll, I'll take 5000 next time. Okay, 5000 <laughs> You already have 1000 And he, over here is Jay Brooks. Hello, Jay, and welcome. Thank you, Bill. Let me, let me go briefly back. Let me go briefly back to Dawn. We talked about your uh, $1,000. We didn't talk about your children. How many you got again? Four children. Their ages are six, five, five, and two. That's uh, all together. That's 21. <laughs> Jay, tell us about your kids, because this is child's play. Thank you, Bill. I have three children, ages 14, 19, and 21. Oh, grown. You don't look They're that already old. Up there. <laughs> you, if you're set to play the game, we're ready to start. You yes. all ready? Yes, all sir. Right. All right. Let me explain again. We took our child's play cameras and aimed them at children in the first, second, and third grades, five to nine years of age. We gave them some everyday words and asked each child to tell us in his own way what that word means. Now, we're going to show you several children defining the same word, and you can take a guess after you've, after you've listened to each child. Now, we're going to start the guessing with you, Dawn, because okay. you are the champion and you got the last correct one. And uh, we're going to show the audience the word that you'll be trying to guess. There it is for the audience. Okay, now, here's Vanessa Berry. She's seven years old from New York City, and here's the way she defines this word. If you have an ice cream cone or a lollipop or some kind of candy that... You know, you can lick by yourself, and someone else wants a lick, and you already had a lick, and you lick it after them, you're passing uh, a disease. All right, that's, that's all you're going to get from Vanessa, Dawn. What do you say the answer is? Germs. Germs are all right, Vanessa, Dawn. That's the way it works. All right. Okay. Well done. You got that one quick. That gives you a point, and we play Child's Play until time is up. And whoever is ahead at that point wins $500 and a chance at $5,000. We'll be back to pick it up right here in just a moment. But right now, let's go ahead and go for you. Okay, we're back again. Let's get set for a brand new word. And this time we start with you again, Don, because you got the last correct answer. First, we're going to show the folks at home. There's the word. Okay, now we're going to have Noah Bardick, seven years old from Los Angeles, give you his definition of that word. Noah, if you would. Something that's not real, it's, it's, um, you make it up in your mind, it's not real, of course. Like dragons, spirits, spooks, well, some people believe in those, but I'm one of them that don't. <laughs> And most people think it's not true, but some of them really think it's very true. And, um, and like dragons, um, some people say they were used in the Middle Ages. They were in, they lived in the Middle Ages. They, they got wiped out just like the dinosaurs. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, there, but for, what do you say the word is? Well, he sounds like he has a very vivid imagination. An imagination, you're right, that's the word. What do you know? You're on the run. So, you have, you're working on a thousand bucks, you have two points now. Jay, you have yet to score. We'll get one of them over there to you in just a moment. <laughs> okay. We have another, and you'll be watching, Don, because the last correct answer is starts each game. And we're going to show the audience at home and people here, there's the word that you'll be playing for. Listen to Emily Wilk, seven and a half years old, from Los Angeles. Here's her description of the word. It's a part of the body of everybody. If you didn't have them, you'd be flopping around on the floor. You wouldn't be able to stand up. 
<laughs> and you couldn't control yourself because you need something to hold you up that's stiff, which makes your legs and arms move. <laughs> okay. <laughs> there. That's a good description. What do you think it is, Don? Well, I've got two in my mind. I'm going to go with bones. Nope. Uh, now, Jay, you get... Well, hello, Jay. Uh, hi, Will. Well, welcome to the game. <laughs> Thank you. Now, Jay, you get a chance to listen to the next description. We're talking about the same word, and here's Tata Amare, six years old, from Los Angeles. I think you'll like this. It's like bones that hang around in creepy places with the head. You see the head bones and the chin bones and the... Um, like a lot of bones and and especially the feet bones are funny looking and the arm the arm kinds are really funny okay now Jay you know from Dawn's answer what it isn't what do you think it is well that was one of my thoughts the second one was a skeleton skeleton is the right answer Jay you're on the board okay so you're in there Don has one, uh, has two, and Jay has one, and we're coming up with another word. Let's show it to the people here in the studio and nice people at home. There's the word, going to be described for you. You'll be answering first, uh, Jay, so pay close attention. Terry Ann Bradley tells us about this. She's seven and from New York. Terry Ann. It usually starts in your 50s or your 60s. Um, it means you usually... If you have been married, you're usually still married. You usually already have a lot of kids, and they're usually grown up. So you're in this age, and you usually have wrinkles. And um, a lot of things have already been done. You're usually retired. And sometimes, if you're needy, you get charity. <laughs> That's Terry Ann Bradley. From this show will spring many philosophers of the future. Jay, from Terry Ann Bradley's description, want to give us a guess? <laughs> well, let's see now. From uh, her description, I, she came up with about three types of different definitions. I'd, I'd have to go with possibly um, elderly. Nope, it is not elderly. All right, back to you, Dawn. Now we have Sasha Sagan. Segan, Sasha Segan. I don't want to get his name wrong because he's one of my favorite people, too. He's seven years old from New York, and when you hear this description, he knows everything. Arthritis. <laughs> and, well it's, a, well, it's a person who is not young or not middle-aged. It's, it's exactly the opposite of young. <laughs> Well, most most people like most people like that have to carry canes to help them walk. And I've got a great grandmother who's who's that. She's eighty three, and that is very. <laughs> and I got a great great aunt who is very. She's a five. <laughs> You're <a child>. <laughs> Sasha, Sasha Segan not only defines the words, he tries to convince you of yeah. them. <laughs> All right, it's your turn. Based on what you've heard and what you know, what do you think, Dawn? I'll say ancient. No, it is break for you, Jay. Here comes yes. the final clue on this word. Listen carefully. We have Seth Wagerman from Los Angeles, and here's Seth's description of the word. Most of them have gray or white hair, but they just might... They might dye their hair to make them look a little younger. They probably have their face plastered if they really hated Gaggy. Now, when you see that little loops up there, it means that the child has pronounced the word. Nothing naughty has been said. It's just the word. Now, based on what you heard and the oops and everything, Jay, what do you think the answer is? Well, based on all that, I'd have to say the answer is old or old age. Old is it, Jay. You got it. That's what they said. Uh, so... Well, look at us go. It's two for Dawn, our champion, and two for Jay, our challenger. Jay, you answered correctly last time, so you will begin with the answer to this one. For the people at home and those in the studio, there's the word. And here's Shayna Lee Farrell. She's five and a half only from New York City. And here's the way she describes it. <laughs> it's 
like when you say something that you're really not supposed to. Oh, gosh. Stupid. Oh, there's one more that I should not say at all. Not even on TV. I don't know if you heard her last few words. She said, my mother would kill me. That's all right. Jay, what do you think it is? I love her face on that. I'm hoping she's describing when you, uh, to swear. No, it is not to swear. If we go on with a further definition of the very same word, and this time it's Juliana Stefanoff again. Seven and a half years old from New York. Same word listened on. Well, that's if somebody put something very bad on you and it could be voodoo. And you might have a voodoo doll. So if they take a needle and they stick it right into any part of you, then you would go, ow! You certainly would. Dawn, what do you think that word is based on what you've heard? Um, hex? Hex? Yeah. No. Break for you, Jay. There's one last clue. Keep remembering what's gone before. Seven years old from Los Angeles is Ryan Von Rubin, and here's his description. When somebody really doesn't like you, they put, put like, um, sometimes in storybooks, they, like, put an evil spell on you. All right, Jay, it's your turn to guess and take the lead if you right. He's definitely talking about a curse. Curse is the right answer, Jay. That's it. It's interesting. Yeah. An interesting thing to note, and we've found out already, uh, the children approach these various words differently. Right. Well, the first yes. thought of curse as swearing, yeah. secondly as the hex or the voodoo. So the score, Jay, is three for you, and uh, Dawn, you have two. That bell, by the way, signals the end of this round of Child's Play. Score, three for Jay, two for Dawn. When we come back to Child's Play, we're going to shift gears and go into our game for speed. We play the fast play round. We'll do that right after this for you. Thank you, Charlie. We'll, we'll get started now. We we explain. We explain. We're going to do our fast play round. We're going to show you a series of children. Remember this: each child is defining a different word. As soon as either of you recognize the word, interrupt with your signal. If you're right, you win an additional point. Whichever player is ahead when time runs out wins the game and five hundred dollars and a chance at five thousand. Now we're not going to show the audience these words. That's so they can play along with us. Ready? Okay. Get ready to interrupt now. Here's Shayna Lee Farrell with the first word. Um, it means that, um, someone is, doesn't have any hair. What do you say, Dawn? Bald. You were, bald is the right answer, and you have a point. It's all tied up. Three points apiece, ready to interrupt now. Here is Jonah Schnell. Jonah Schnell is coming up with the next word. Well, maybe sometimes your grandpa or your uncle will smoke it. It's... What do you think it is, Dawn? Cigarette? No, it is not cigarette. Jay, an advantage for you. You get a chance to listen to the entire definition. So hear it through before answering. Jonah Schnell, would you do it again, please, for us, sir? Well, maybe sometimes your grandpa or your uncle will smoke it. It's bigger than a cigarette, and it's green. Oh, no, green, like sort of brownish green. And and it, it sort of smells like a cigarette, and it's... Uh, and it's longer than a cigarette, and it's wider than a cigarette. All those things considered, Jay? Bailey's definitely talking about a cigar. Yeah. He is talking about a cigar, Jay, and you have another point in the lead, four to three. Ready to interrupt now. Here's Laura Gordon with our next word. It's a frozen person. Jay. He's talking about a snowman. No. Pretty good try, but it wasn't Snowman. Dawn, you listen all the way through now. Hear it until it's finished. You get a free guess. Laura Gordon, would you do it again? It's a frozen person that doesn't move. It doesn't do anything. It just stays there. When it's frozen in a position. And it could be any color. It's a, it could be a person, an animal. Um, could be anything that's frozen in its place. Could be made of metal. And that's it. That's as far as it goes. Dawn, what do you think? 
I am drawing a total blank. I can't believe it. Don't want to take a guess? Any guess at all? Mummy. I don't know. <laughs> Mummy is a good guess. I, I think the Frozen might have confused but At the end, though, when she said it could be made of metal. Yeah. Statue. Statue. Oh. Statue is what we were oh, thinking of. Okay. Score stands at four to three. Both of you... Hey, there, you know what, that bell, that's the school bell that means we're coming to the home stretch. And now what we're going to do is double the point score. Two points for every correct answer. Person who's ahead when time's up gets the 500 and a chance to play for $5,000. Ready to interrupt now, here's Juliana Stefanoff with the next word. Well, it's something you could cover yourself with. Yes, Jay? A blanket? A blanket is the right answer, Jay. You got to... Very good. Okay. On just those few words, six to three in your favor. Ready to interrupt now? It's two points for every right answer. You can catch up, Dawn. Here's Amy Levy. Amy. Some, something like, um, well, something like when you're real nervous and your face turns real red and you stop. What do you say, Dawn? Embarrassed. No, it is not embarrassed. Jay, you get a chance to listen all the way through and then come up with your answer. For two points, this is going to be, so it means a lot. Amy Levy will do it again for you. Some, something like, um, well, something like when you're real nervous and your face turns real red and you start, you know, laughing a lot and you're real, you're real shy. From that, Jay, what do you oh derive? Oh, my goodness. I'm hoping she's talking about when you... To blush? To blush is the right answer, Jay. That's a two-pointer. Oh All right. It's piling them up. Okay, time is up with a score of eight to three. You got the eight. Jay, you are the winner. Congratulations. Come on over here, Jay. Jay Miller. Hi, Jay, and welcome to you. Stand right there. Don, Don, thank you very much. Don Miller with $1,000. You were a good champion, and thank, thank you. you for thank Give our regards to all four of your okay. kids. Right. You. Okay, bye, Don. Well, eight points. Eight points. Eight points is a pretty good win. Now, you, you, you have now won $500 for the winning of the game. When we get back, it'll be for our triple play game and a chance to win 5000 bucks and make it 5500 in all. We'll be back and do that. Right now, we're going to do this. So, Jay, you just, I called you Jay Miller. I got all confused. I got excited, too. It's Jay Brooks. That's right. You won right. yourself 500 bucks, and now you're going to get your chance to try for the 5,000 big ones. This is our triple play game. Now, this time, we asked our child's play kids to write brief definitions of simple words. We took three definitions per word, each one written by a different child, child A, B, or C. Some are far out, some are right on the nose, and you'll never know until you pick definition A, B, or C. You'll have a total of 45 seconds to get six words. We pay $100 a word, and if you get them all, that's when you win 5,000 bucks. Now, okay. keep in mind, these definitions were written by children. Okay. okay, 45 seconds, bring in the clock. Time will start when you pick your first letter. B. A lot comes from cars and it hurts your lungs. Uh, uh, smog. Right, take another one. It's A. Someone who comes when your mom and dad go out. Babysitter. Babysitter, right. A. A way to cook food, mostly chicken. Barbecue. No, take another one. B. When you make something in oil, it makes a crackling noise. C. Uh, when you put an egg on a pan. Fry. Fry's right. Here's the next one. A. It's white and fits a baby's tush. Uh, diaper. Diaper's right. That's a. four. A mitt w that you catch with. A uh, catcher's mitt. Take another. B. A rubber kind of hand used to protect from dishes. Gloves. Gloves right. One a. more. When you were born, that's what you are. Baby. That's right. You got all six of them. Ha ha. Nope. <laughs> Five thousand bucks. Five thousand big ones for you. Thank you. <laughs> okay, Jay. Jay. You did it. Five, you're our first five thousand dollar winner on Child's Play. Does it feel like you're a hero? I felt I had one more answer to go. <laughs> he, yes, he said, I thought I only got five, and I looked at my card real quick. You have $5,500, oh. and next time, of course, you're going to have a chance to take out another challenger for another $5,000. we will be back here in just a moment right now. Would you please watch this? 
$5,500. Congratulations to you, Jay. Hey, if you like kids, you'll love Child's Play. Goodbye. Wave goodbye to the folks out there. See you Some right. the with Double the action. Yes, baby. Game's on now. Double the money. $100,000 bet. Double the deception. Ain't bluffing fun. It is when you get away with it. Double the trash talk. I just can't believe how poorly you guys play. <laughs> you people are so sick. I love it. Two solid hours of the only real cash game on TV. <laughs> High stakes poker. Two solid hours starting tomorrow night at 8. Followed by World Series of Blackjack at 10 only on GSN. It might have confused, but at the end, though, when she said it could be made of metal. Yeah. Statue. Statue. Oh. Statue is what we were oh, thinking of. Okay. Score stands at 4 to 3. Both of you. Hey there, you know what that bell, that's the school bell that means we're coming to the home stretch. And now what we're going to do is double the point score. Two points.